write each number as a product of primes. The numbers that we're going to work with here are a 24 and b 45, c 70, d 33, and e 180. The word product here in our directions refers to multiplying. We're going to break down these numbers into multiplication problems. And the word prime refers to a prime number. A prime number is a whole number different from one that is only divisible by one in itself. We'll talk more about what it means to be a prime number as we go through these problems. Now let's start out here with 24. That's our first number. 24 I would like to break down using multiplication. One way to break down 24 is as 4 times 6. So I'll write that 4 times 6. Now what I want to do here is continue breaking down both the 4 and the 6 using multiplication. I'll write equals below and break down that 4 into 2 times 2. Sometimes I like to write two lines coming down from the 4, like so and like so, just to show where the two 2's have come from. The two lines are not required, but it makes it easier to follow the procedure here. Times, now I'm going to break down the 6. 6 I can write as 2 times 3. Again, if you want, you can draw two lines like so to show where this 2 and this 3 came from. But the lines are not necessary. Now let's think about breaking these numbers down further, the 2's and the 3's. The 2 that I have right here, I can only break that down with multiplication as 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. We never want to bring 1's into this process, and so I'm not going to break that 2 down further. In fact, when the only way to break down a number is by writing 1 times the number or the number times 1, that means we have a prime number. 2 is a prime number. As soon as we get to prime numbers in this process, we stop, we don't break them down further. 3 also is a prime number. The only way I can write that using multiplication would be as 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. So I stop here with these primes, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. That's my answer. I've written 24 as a product of primes. So what do we have here in this answer? What does 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 tell me? Well, if I multiply these numbers back together, I get 24. Let's just do that in our heads. 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. We leave our answer written in this form, though, that I have here on the board. It's sort of like, makes me think a little bit about my neighbor who works on cars in his driveway. Sometimes he takes all the engine parts out and spreads them all over the ground. Well, you can think of this 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 as the parts of 24 spread out for us to see. Another way to think about this answer we have here is as a recipe. We can think of the 2's and the 3 here as being the ingredients in a recipe for 24. The multiplication problem, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, tells me how to mix those ingredients to obtain the number 24. Now, I'd like to do the same problem a different way. We have our factors of 24 here, but let's look at the same problem. A 
a different way. There are many different ways you can get started with one of these problems. 24, the same number I started with here, I could start out by breaking down in a different way. I could write 3 times 8. Now I'll continue breaking down the numbers that I got here, 3 and 8. 3, as we said before, is a prime number. I can only break it down as 1 times 3, and I don't want to write the 1. So when I have a prime number, I just recopy it. Sometimes I draw a line from 1, 3 to the 3 below, just showing where that 3 came from. Times the 8 here, I can break down as 2 times 4. And if you want, you can draw two lines, as I did here, to show where the 2 and the 4 came from. When I get a prime number, I don't break it down further. But if I have a number that can be broken down, I need to continue. 3 is prime, I can't break it down further. 2 is prime, I can't break it down further. But the 4 on the end here, I can break down. So I need to go to one more line. I recopy the 3 that I already have. I recopy the 2 that I already have here. I just bring that down times. Now the 4 I can break down into another 2 times 2. That gives me 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. I only have 2's and a 3. I have all prime numbers now, so I can stop the process. There's one more thing I like to do with this uh, type of answer. I like to rewrite my answer with the numbers in order from smallest to largest. It's okay to write the answer this way as 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, but if I rewrite my answer with the smallest numbers first, that's the 2's, and then the 3 on the end, it makes it easier to compare my answer to other ways people may have done the problem. It may also make it easier for you to check an answer to your homework in the back of the book. So whether you do it this way or this way, you don't need to do it both ways. Just one way is fine. Our answer here for 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And there, we've done one of our numbers. Now let's write another number as a product of primes. Our second number to work with here is 45. What I want to do is break down 45 using multiplication. There may be more than one way to start, but from now on I'm only going to do each problem one way. One way to break down 45 would be as 9 times 5. And then I have to think about whether I can keep going. Can I break down the 9? Yes, I can break down 9 as 3 times 3. So the 9 breaks down into 3 times 3. That's what these little lines show us. Times, what about breaking down the 5? The only way I can break down 5 using multiplication would be as 1 times 5 or 5 times 1. But we don't want any 1's here. When that's the only way to break down a number, I just recopy the number. 5 is another example of a prime number. Now I have 3 times 3 times 5. The 3's and the 5 are all prime numbers, 
So we're done. 3 times 3 times 5 is 45 written as a product of primes. You can check by multiplying them together. 3 times 3 is 9 times 5 is 45. But for our answer, we want to leave the numbers written in this way. Let's recopy that here. 3 times 3 times 5. Now let's take a look at the third number. The third number we have here is 70. We want to write 70 as a product of primes. Sometimes you can get started in this process by using a fact from the multiplication tables. And, you know, here, 70, let's just notice that 70 has a zero in the ones place. Really, any number that has a zero in the, in the ones place is something times 10. In fact, you can see what it is times 10 just by covering up the zero. That often is a nice way to get started in this process. 7 times 10 is 70. And now let's see if I can keep going. Can I break down the 7? Well, the only way to break down 7 would be 7 times 1 or 1 times 7. I don't want to write any 1's. 7 is a prime number. I cannot break it down further, so I'm just going to recopy that 7 times 10. Can I break down 10? 10 I can break down as 2 times 5. Now I have 7 times 2 times 5. 7, 2, and 5 are all prime numbers. I know at this point that I'm finished once I have only prime numbers appearing. The one more step I like to write down that is not required is to put these numbers in order, smallest to largest. 2 times 5 times 7. Let's recopy our answer over here on the side. 2 times 5 times 7 is 70. I'm going to go right ahead and work on the next number on our list here. That's the 33. 33, I'm going to break down as 33, I know from my multiplication facts, that's 3 times 11. Now we've already talked about how 3 is prime, and the 11, can I break that down only as 1 times 11 or 11 times 1? 11 is also a prime number. So here in just one step, we got our 33 written as a product of primes. 33 is 3 times 11. Well, we've managed to do A, B, C, and D. We have just one more number to work with here, 180. Now, 180 is a number you probably don't recognize from your multiplication tables. But because we have that zero in the ones place, I can think of 180 as a number times 10. And I don't even have to figure it out. The number that I multiply by 10 to get 180 is 18, what I see when I cover up that zero. So we can start out by writing 180 as 18 times 10. Often, once you get through that initial step, the rest of the problem flows pretty easily because you have fairly small numbers. Now let's keep trying to break these down. We have 18. 18 I can break down as 2 times 9 times 10 I can break down as 2 times 5. Now, it looks like I have a lot of prime numbers here. We have to be careful, though, 
We can't stop until all of the numbers we're multiplying together are prime numbers. This 2 is prime, also this 2, and this 5 on the end, but the 9 is not a prime number. I can break that down as 3 times 3, so I need to keep going. I recopy this 2, just bring it down, times 9 is 3 times 3, times 2, I bring down this 2, times 5, I bring down this 5 on the end. Now I have 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 5. Those are all prime numbers. So I'm done. I have written 180 as a product of primes. The one thing I like to do to make my answer look nice is to rewrite these numbers in order from smallest to largest. 2 times 2, I write the two twos first, times 3 times 3, then the two threes, times 5 on the end. And there we have 180 written as a product of primes. Let me copy my answer over here. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Those are the ingredients for 180.